the Lions John Obelisk in the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. Talking to you today from the Margaret Mahi Family Playground, and with me I have Rob Kerr, who's one of Sarah's uh, development directors responsible for this area. And Rob, this is a uh, pretty busy place today. Yeah, it is. It is. We're all getting down to the to the final um, the final stretch before we open this amazing playground. So there's about 100 people on site today, yeah. and um, 100 people on site tomorrow. And so there's a lot of people working really hard to make this a great playground. Yeah, I've been coming here occasionally over the last month, and uh, it seems to have been uh, a pretty similar level of activity for quite some time. Well, it's a huge it's a huge playground, an amazing facility for Christchurch. And, but it takes a lot of work to create these things, yeah. a lot of work and a lot of detailed work as well because play equipment and all the play things, are they're all different, it's yeah. not stuff that we build every day so the guys are loving doing it yeah. and um, loving getting it ready for Yes, yeah, so it's, it's lots of curves and twists and uh, it's not straight and, uh, like, like many engineering projects. That's right, there's a lot of unexpected things. Yes, yes. yes. And um, with the, uh, the whole uh, playground area, Rob, I look at it and I think, well, what is this replacing that was here before? Well, look, really there was nothing here in the central city before like this. Yeah. There's the fantastic playground in the Botanic Gardens, which yeah. everybody loves. Yeah. Um, but in the central city itself, there wasn't really much for children. And I yeah. think that's one thing that's going to be really special in this CBD, in the central city, that we're actually a, a, a people-friendly place that has places for children, places for families to yeah. come to, which we never had before, so yeah. it's really special. Well, one of the things that came right out of sheer an idea you know, years ago now was about um, the, the river and about the green spaces and about accessibility and so forth for the city and what I see happening with the Avon River mm. precinct generally and the walk beside the river, the promenade down, it's 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 really fulfilling what people were wanting. That's that's yeah. so that's so right. You'll be able to walk along the river, you'll be able to enjoy it, you'll be able to come here to the playground, yeah. play in all this space with the park all around it as well. Yes. Uh, another park goes raw all the way uh, south towards the innovation precinct. So there's yeah. Huge spaces in here, which yeah. you know you can just come out and enjoy and be in the central city again. Yes, and of course there'll be a lot of people living uh, very close to here in the East Frame. That's right, over 2,000 people, 2,200 people. So yeah. there'll be lots of activity here. Yes. We've got concessions. There'll be a art and craft gallery um, over the road as well. Yeah. Lots of exciting things going on. Yeah. So we think this will be a real destination. Yeah, well, it certainly feels like that to me. And and when when people um, come here to the playground, what are the facilities that that they're going to be able to uh, enjoy. So it's it's not just for kids, it's for grown-ups as well. So there's lots of things that people can enjoy from, you know, there's uh, slides and swings, there's this uh, fly, double flying fox that we're standing underneath yep. here, yep. so you can race your parents down. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. so, so, you know, this will be strong enough for me to go on it as well? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Uh, it's strong it's strong enough so we can have really some great races. So I'm looking yep. forward to beating cool. you on that one. Excellent. So you'll be able to have a picnic here, yeah. you'll be able to grab a coffee or an ice cream. Yeah. Um, but then there's this amazing water play area, which is the one that I yeah. think is exciting, where you know you can jump and the water sprays up, you can direct water down, you can yeah. pump it up, and all those different amazing yeah. things. So, so if the kids are coming here for a, a play, one should expect there's a good opportunity to get wet. There is every opportunity to get wet and every opportunity to get dry afterwards as yep. well as you fly down the flying fox. So <laughs> everything's here. That's lovely. <laughs> now this has been quite an investment um, in the in the recovery. Um, t tell me some of the figures about what what all of this costs. So the playground equipment themselves, and there's a lot of different playground pieces of, of equipment, is two million dollars. Right. And then underneath all of that, there's special servicing to make it all safe, which right. is quite thick, spongy stuff. Like many, many, what we're standing on like, now. Like we're standing yes, on now, and yes. it feels kind of interesting yes. and um, uh, and that's another million dollars yeah. um, and then this whole block all the park all the other areas the the, the other bits of public realm cost in total around about 20 million dollars right, that includes uh, car parking facilities car parking and... uh, lighting the right. park the pathways and so on the, yes. the, the streets and so on yeah. so it's a huge area which is going to be really special so yeah. we think it's a really important worthwhile investment and um, the the hope is to have this, or the, the intent is to have this opened by? Un unwrapped for Christmas. Unwrapped gonna, for Christmas. It's going to be And so people will be able to enjoy it uh, this, this, uh, this summer. That's right, and these guys, the 100 people behind us, are working really hard to make that, yeah. make that real. That's tremendous. Oh, well, th thanks, Rob, and uh, all the best for the rest of the project. No worries. It's really good. Um, you can read about what we've been talking about now, the Margaret Mahi Playground, and also about lots of the other things that are happening uh, across the recovery in the future Christchurch update which will be in your mailbox this weekend. Um, 
That'll be the last one for this year and we're going to give January a break and the next uh, uh, future Christchurch update will be uh, in your mailbox in February of 2016. Till then, uh, have a great break and come and enjoy the Margaret Mahi Family Playground.